Welcome to day one of Life on the Chain. Here we go. This is the camper that I set up specifically to be closer to the chain of lakes. There she is, right? The idea is, that's the camper. Here's the truck, the boat, and we're only five minutes from one of the greatest uh, lakes in the world. And I'm half hour, 45 minutes away from like my favorite place to fish ever. And so we're gonna start a video series of what it's like to chase muskies on low density water. And the struggle is going to be real and there's not gonna be a lot of fish caught. But my goal is two to three videos a week where you follow me going after these fish, me and my friends, and we're gonna make this happen. I'm so excited because I've been working on this. I'm, I've been getting ready for this. And now it's finally here. And this is day one, and we're gonna go on a trip right now. Full day, musky fishing. Awesome. So, since this is a musky vlog, and really the expectation should be maybe see a fish, maybe catch one. I mean, this is my sixth trip here, so this has got to happen eventually. Uh, I'm going to talk a little tactics, right? Why not talk tactics? A little disclaimer, everything that I talk about here, I learned from my mentor, Matt Galbraith. He's an older gentleman in my life who I started fishing with years ago. He's like a father to me. and. A lot of these ideas that I'm gonna talk about over the next coming weeks and months, they all came from him. None of these are my original ideas. I, I'm a terrible fisherman. So this, a day like today on a lake that I'm on, it's only like a couple hundred acres. I see guys out on days like today and they're like casting super sh close to shoreline. It's terrible. It's, this is, uh, I'm looking for deep weeds and bait today because the sun as high as it is, the bait's probably gonna be lower in the water column. It's something I'll be watching for on the graph. And I don't wanna be casting to the shore, to the break. I wanna be casting over deep weeds with a bait that gets down lower in the water column. Uh, I'm trying uh, to get out of my box this year. Like normally I'd just be throwing a black Magnum Bulldog right now, right? Spring, early summer, sunny day like today, I'd be throwing a black mag dog, and I've had a ton of success up here with that. But I'm uh, I'm going with a spar sonker swim bait. It's a beautiful color. I've been throwing it. I love the way it looks in the water. I haven't even moved any fish on it yet, but that cannot be a determining factor when you're musky fishing because you can fish a bait. 20 times I've see fish on it, but it could be a great bait. You just, your sample size is too small. So I'm gonna work along this shoreline, deep weeds, and see what we can come up with.
There's a fish. There's a fish. Oh, I totally missed that fish. Oh, I totally was not paying attention. That was so terrible. Got distracted by a hot mama and I kept jet ski. All right, it's coming fast. All right, that's scary. Get the fuck out. <laughs>